G'day guys. Welcome back. Look, it's acrylic pouring day and I'm going to do a swipe. Uh, a little bit different this time, so I'll talk you through it as I go. The pouring media I'm using today is 50% water, 50% Elmer's glue oil. And because I'm doing a swipe, I like to have it thinner than when I'm doing a flip cup pour. So it is one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. This is it here. It's a relatively thick paint. It's sort of like Liquitex Basics um, or Amsterdam, that sort of consistency if you can't get this one. So I'm using that. And I, as I said, I do like to have it a little bit thinner when I'm doing my swipes. So I've just got a range of blues. I've got like a turquoisey blue, a bright blue, a light blue, and a navy. And then for cells, I'm going to use my treadmill silicone. But I'm only going to put that in the white. I'm going to swipe with white and sort of have like a, a wintry, snowy, icy type of look, which is totally opposite to what I've got in Queensland, Australia at the moment, because we're in the middle of summer and it's a hot one. Righto. So first of all, I'm just going to cover my canvas with my paints and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Now, there's no silicone oil in these. They leave, it's, it's not even a mound. Like, don't hold your stick way up here. See how it drops in? So bottom of the stick, sort of at the top of the cup. It just kind of leaves a little pyramid. Okay, so let's do that. It's going to cover the whole surface. And I like having lots of paint because I need to swish it around and cover the whole surface. It needs to go over the sides. So, and I just do ribbons like this, as you can see. And I'm going to be tilting and the colours are all going to be mixing into each other anyway. So, but I'll just sort of ziggy zaggy like this so that they kind of blend a little bit anyway. So it doesn't really matter how you put your paint down, just get it down on the canvas to start with. It's all going to change once you start tilting, isn't it? All right, it's that one. I'm going to do the navy last because I'm going to swipe with the the white. So I'd like the contrast of the navy sort of to be on top a little bit, even though it's going to all blend, as I said. Pre-used canvas. I didn't like it, so I scraped it straight away, rinsed it off. And I can use it again. Yeah, so if I was doing a flip cut pour, where you want nice thick paint um, it's a one-to-one -one, but with this with a swipe I personally like a one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint just feel as if I need to have it a little bit thinner hopefully I've got enough navy on here because you want a couple of really nice dark colors if you're going to be swiping with a light color you don't want all your colours to be light, otherwise you're really not going to see your cells. You need that contrast of light and dark. Let's move these out of the way for a minute while I start to tilt. Here we go. Don't want to lose all the paint, but we do need to, you know, cover the surface. Go over the sides. And as I said, I do make up enough so that I can do that without having to worry about, oh, have I got enough paint? All right. We are covered. Beautiful. Now let me just clean my hands. So there's still quite a lot of paint on the surface there, but... Depending on how much paint you leave on the surface, that's also going to determine how big your cells get. Let me just wipe my hands. If you don't have very much paint left on the surface, um, when your cells pop up, they can't really stretch very far. Whereas if you've got lots of paint on there and it's quite thin, they come up and they go, oh, I can stretch out. 
don't think I stirred that bit in very well. It looks a bit blobby. All right, now I'm going to give it a quick torch just to pop bubbles. Now remember, there's no silicone oil in these base colours. So we'll just get the big boy out. Hopefully he'll behave today. He gets a bit excited when he comes out to play sometimes. Right, so that's that done. Um, let me make sure we're still taping. Yes. Now, normally I would pour a white strip down the centre and swipe down and swipe up. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to pour my white into here. Oops, I've spilled some paint in the corner. I'm going to put my white in there. I'm going to dip my paper towel in and I'm going to swipe just, just for something different. But first of all, what we need to do is we need to put our silicone oil, treadmill silicone oil in the white. So I'm just going to do <clears throat> three drops. One, two, three. And then that's, that's all the oil that's in this painting is three drops of silicone oil. Give it a good stir, mix it in. It is an oil, you know, it wants to sit on the surface of water. It wants to come to the surface. That's how your cells are created. Because they come up with the silicone oil to the surface. So there you go, a bit of science. Right, now let's pour some of this. Probably won't need all of it, so I might keep some of it for another painting. So that's that. Can we see that? Can we see that? Is it in frame? Oh yes. It is. I might just move you over just a touch so that you can... Whee! Don't get car sick, will you, when I move you like that? I've got all my bits of paper cut up. Probably don't need them all, but... And then over here on the side I've got um, a piece of paper towel to throw all my little wet pieces straight onto. Righto, shall we get going? Get the first one. Now I'm not wetting it, I'm just going to dip it straight into the white, okay? So I've got the paint on that side there. So that's the side that I need to put down and swipe the, see that side's dry, that side's got the paint. So that side's the one that we're going to swipe. So I'm going to swipe up. Like that. <laughs> and then take that all the way around, you don't want to drip that into your painting. I wonder if I can cut that off. I might cut that end off and then I can use this piece again. What do you think? I'll just slice it there, cut that little wet bit off. It's a bit crooked, so I'll just turn it around and use the other side, hey? Now this side, this time I'm going to dip it this way, so that I've got the paint on that side. Oops, it's going to drip. And I'm just going to put that there, and swipe down. Woohoo! All right, let's keep going. I'll torch at the end and then we'll see the magic happen. So dip. I'm only wetting one side. Hopefully we'll get cells. Cut that end off. Dip again. I'm wetting probably about a centimetre of it. Just done about a quarter of an inch I'm wetting with the paint. And then try to overlap the one that you've just done so that you don't have too much of a, of a gap between the two. You know what I mean? If I so choose later, I may put a strip of white through the centre if I want to. But at the moment, I'm liking that look sort of streaky look. Now the colour that you're swiping with needs to be a little bit 
thinner than your other colors otherwise the cells won't be able to pop through if your color is too thick and also it's a good idea if you use the color that you're swiping with if it's an opaque color I find I get a better result so a black a white and then swipe over other colors how are we going Getting a few cells popping up all on their own. We'll keep going. And I don't want to over torch. I'll try not to over torch when the time comes to torch. Swiping that there just to catch the drips on the bottom of the paper towel. I'll cut that off again. I'm saving paper. Aren't I good? I'm a good girl. Never done this before. I've always just swiped like with, as I said, I put the swipe color in the middle and off I go. I should really leave a piece of paper towel there because I'm, I'm carrying them around and I'm dripping everything. I'll just put my mess there. There we go. There's my mess. Mm, make less of a mess this way. Some, something in there. That's that bit of navy paint that wasn't mixed properly. You can see it there. So important to mix your colours really well. Right, I'm not going to do anything about it now. The cells, when the cells pop up, they'll it'll be disguised, but yeah, it'll still be there. Never mind. I'll do that last little bit there. If you do end up having a little gap in between like that, it's a tiny gap and really because it's a stripe it doesn't matter like you're not going to go oh look look at that blue line there it's wider than all the others it doesn't matter you're going to get cells on there which are going to disguise it and then you've got that whole stripey effect through the whole thing so you're not going to notice that there's one little extra wide stripe there all right we're nearly finished guys two more to go I'm liking how the, the join is in the center. If you wanted to, oh, I just splashed the paint down there. If you wanted to, you could do a wave like this for a little bit of interest. You don't have to go straight. I'm just going to wipe up that paint so that I don't walk on it. Yeah, so you could do a, a wiggle like that. And the last one, let me cut this little bit of end off last one look at that now if you've got a cute little container like this 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 came um we went to a chinese restaurant or a japanese restaurant and i couldn't eat all my dinner so they gave me a little doggy bag container to take home and that was the container whoa i'm going a bit crooked off the side there yeah that was the container it was they had my rice in one and my curry in the other so i thought oh that's really good I'm going to keep that now there's something weird going on there there's something strange in the neighborhood who are you gonna call swiper let's just re-swipe that little piece there's something strange going on there so don't be afraid to swipe again you know if you do miss a section or you don't like something you can by all means swipe again let me just get rid of my mess and then we'll torch and see what happens now hopefully I won't torch don't don't torch too close okay start <clears throat> start up nice and high this is a big boy he's very powerful but my little dude that I use for my resin is not powerful enough. So 
big boy. Just don't go too close to start with because you're not sure what it's going to do. Turn him down as low as you can. And little circles <clears throat> up high. Keep going. Little circles. <clears throat> See how strong he is? Look at that. Just little circles. You can always come back again and go over if you want a few more, but just really, you know, if you get too close, that's it. You've got cells galore. You can't take them back. They're there forever. Just go slow, go easy, nice and high. Don't overdo it. You can always come back again if you want a few more. And you've got to decide if, how many cells you want. Remember that they will keep growing. So, you know, they start off really small. So just give them a chance to grow a little bit and then decide if you want any more. Because the backgrounds are really beautiful on these and you may not want to cover your your background totally like I'm just gonna get that little corner just there just a few okay all right so I'm gonna leave that oh it's beautiful it's beautiful it's beautiful I love it I love it so you know that when I do my <clears throat> if you've been following me you know how I do my stripe down the center and then swipe in the swipe you get quite a thick line in the middle and you tend not to get any cells in that center but this you can I, th I think it looks pretty like it's like they're doing this you know they're merging into each other it's so pretty love it and I certainly don't want any more cells I guess the only place I could see that I would maybe have a few more is just in there just in there but now you got to be really careful because you don't want to get them anywhere else. Let's see if I can just get a few there. There's one. <laughs> I'm playing. Oh, there we go. See how they pop up? And then they do spread. So just be really, really careful. I can't stress enough. Don't overdo your torching because it can go from wow to oh, very quickly. <laughs> Let's go around and have a little peek. A little peekaboo at these gorgeous cells. Oops, I'm on the wrong thing. Here we go. So you've got that beautiful, beautiful background. And then, because it's a blended colour, but it's the whole thing's got this very, very pale, thin amount of white just skimming over the top which gives it that snowy, wintry kind of a look. Isn't it pretty? And if you torch a bit close, see there is a bit of a cluster there and there's a bit of a cluster there. I've got a little bit close. They're not too, too bad. But lots of separate cells that aren't sort of touching anybody else because once they bump into another cell they lose their round shape but you tend to get that with swipes because the mix is so much thinner than um you know flip cut pores so your cells do tend to bump into each other which is why you need to have fewer cells so torch less so there you go what do you think do you like it you don't need to worry about the sides. They've all been covered. And there we go. All right, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Hope you've learned something about swipes. And um, yeah, I'll see you all real soon for the next video. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. Bye for now.